guys uh, welcome back so we are now looking at uh, a new feature in google bart so wherein we can check the response that google bart gave us is correct or not how do we do that it will provide us the sources from where the data is fetched from and for which it's not able to it will have a different color combination as shown in this diagram below so where the content is found similar it will provide in green where the content is not found and looks like uh, possibly it might differ then it would be in this color before we go into that let's understand what is hallucination so hallucination in the context of llm refers to generation of text that is error erroneous nonsensical or detached from reality and there have been some studies that bard generates about uh, 4% in uh, maintenance and reality knowledge exam and in chat gpt it's 5 whereas in phm exam it was 10% and 29% and this was probably with the lambda model i don't know what we will get it with the newer models of bard which is gemini or the previous model which is palm i don't know what's the rate with that i don't have the steady data for it so i would uh, not uh, be able to provide that data so what are the types of hallucinations that can happen so source uh, reference divergence can result in uh, yeah can result in sentence contraction and exploitation through uh, jailbreak prompts can result in prompt contraction reliance or incomplete uh, or contradictory data sets factual con con uh, contradiction overfitting and lack of novelty will results in nonsensical output guesswork from vague sources or insufficiency detail detail prompts will result in irrelevant and uh, random hallucination so let's start from the last one so what is uh, irrelevant and uh, random hallucinations so llms can generate hallucination in the form of relevant or random information that holds no pertinence to either the input or the de desired output the hallucinations contribute to the generation of uh, erroneous and potentially misleading context irrelevant or random hallucination confuse users and impair usefulness of the llm generation text and what is nonsensical output llms can generate text that can lack logical coherence or meaningful content so this type of hallucination manifest as nonsensical output where the generated text fails to convey relevant or comprehensible information hinder the usability and reliability of the llms when adopting to a newer technology in practical applications so factual contradiction llm possess the ability capacity to generate fictional information falsely presenting it as factual so they manifest when llm produce inaccurate information that are erroneously presented as reliable information have profound implications as they contribute to dissemination of misinformation and erode the credibility of llm generated context there has been some studies done where gpt 3.5 contributed to approximately 61% hallucinations correctly answering 33 prompts providing incorrect responses to 21 prompts so the hallucination was 39% in case of gpt4 the success rate was 72% the hallucination rate was 28% however i don't have this data for factual contradiction for bart similarly prompt contradiction Uh, occurs when a sentence generated by an llm contradicts the prompt used to generate it this type of hallucination raises the concerns where reliability and adherence to the intended meaning or the context so prompt contradictions can undermine the trustworthiness of the llm output as they deviate from the desired alignment with the provided output when we come to sentence contradiction llm uh, they have the potential to generate sentences that contradict a previous statement within a user generated text 
introducing inconsistencies determine the overall coherence of the context and this sentence contradiction pose significant challenges in maintaining logical flow that can result in confusion for the user relying from uh, uh, llm generated text research on self contradictory hallucination in llms result in a high degree of self con uh, contradiction in case of chat gpt this was 14.3% in gpt.4 uh, in gpt4 it went to 11.8% and similarly here i don't have the data for bot here i'm just giving you the data uh, how this works so coming back to uh, this one what are the potential um, and we recognize and understand this type of hallucination we have better addressed the challenge and limitation of llms and we need to focus on effective mitigation strategies to improve accuracy coherence and trustworthiness of llms so we don't have to look into uh, the strategies to mitigate it because google has recently rolled out a fact checker uh, with that uh, with this specific new feature we can check the data that's generated is true or not before that let's look at some consequences so discriminating and toxic con content so llm have potential to perpetuate and ha amplify harmful biases through hallucination giving rise to production of discriminatory and toxic content research results highlights the impact of persona alignment on chat gpt indicating its toxicity uh, can increase up to 6% for a specific user in output that endorses incorrect stereotypes so harmful dialogue and opinions the training data set contains stereotypes which can reinforced by this type of models themselves whereas privacy so llms when training with research on extensive data sets may raise concerns regarding the privacy violation as they may contain some specific data of individual and organizations so there was a blackberry research which said 74% of tech decision makers not only recognized the potential of cyber security posed by llms but they also expressed significant concerns about its implication furthermore according to recent uh, chat gpt and generative ai statistics 11% of data shared with chat gpt by employees consisted of uh, sensitive data including client information so you have to be careful what data you feed into llm the last one is uh, misinformation and disinformation so one of the critical uh, consequences stemming from llm hallucination is the generation of seemingly accurate yet <laughs> false context lacking empirical evidences due to limited contextual understanding and inability to fact check so llm can inadvertently propagate misinformation leading to spread of inaccurate or hate information in a survey approximately 30% of respondents expressed dissatisfaction with the llm experience primarily due to incorrect answers or lack of comprehension there is a potential for a malicious intent as users may inadvertently exploit llm to disseminate uh, misinformation so purposefully navigating false narrative notably research conducted by blackberry reveals a significant 49% of individuals hold the belief that llms will be utilized as a means to profilate uh, uh, disinformation and misinformation the unchecked proliferation proliferation of misinformation and disinformation through llm will have far reaching consequences across social cultural economic and political domain so let's go to this one now here so what we can do is starting today with responses in english uh, so let me ask a specific question i'll show you what you can do so let me ask this question if you don't like this one you can list uh, other countries that are in recession so there's germany that's in recession currently and there is probably a um, couple of other countries if you look up that are in potentially in recession so let's see if this claim is right or wrong let's wait for the google response and uh, okay so we got some data here 
and if you click on double click on this G button, it will highlight phrases and it would help us learn more about supporting or contradicting information by search. As you can see, it is getting all the sources and okay. So it is printing the data here and the source it's able to get this from. So the ones that it didn't, it's probably not able to authenticate it. So let me ask uh, which countries may likely be in recession in 2024. So let me see if it's able to give us a list of countries. So as you can see the previously the response I got, this is how it looks like. So the text, if you click on the text, you will see where the source was fetched from and where it's not able to correlate. Google found data where it differs from this and it is uh, checking some government websites to determine that. So that's one part of it. And now let's double check this data. So yeah, and it says ongoing war in Ukraine because we won't know in 24 probably this will go on or not and probably they haven't gone to recession yet are less likely and similarly United Kingdom. So some countries it was able to say with a high degree of certainty and map data sources for others it was not able to. So the idea here is when we click on the G button uh, which is this click on this G button Bart will read the response and evaluate whether there is a content across the web to substantiate it when a statement can be evaluated you can click on the highlighted phrase and learn about the supporting phrase uh, or the contradicting information by the search. So that's basically what I wanted to cover here. I hope you got an idea about hallucination and why how Google Bart helps you to validate data that's generated was uh, has reliable links or was the data generated out of hallucination potentially out of hallucination. So thank you for joining.